If you want. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm an open minded kind of individual. If that's awesome. All right. <laughs> Notice he didn't offer. I know. Perfect. All right, now is everyone in their assigned seat? No. Cool. Now everyone look under your chairs. No, no. <laughs> not an Oprah thing. You can if you want to. But you're not going to find anything. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so then, right off the bat, welcome everyone to Mysticon 2020! <laughs> Throughout the weekend, every panel you're at, anytime someone says, Mysticon! <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, so try that again. Anytime you're in a panel and someone says, Mr. Khan! <laughs> That's exactly what we want to have happen. It's so fantastic. Everybody back again this year? At least, wait, is that everybody? It's everybody. Is anybody, anybody here, is this your first Mr. Khan? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you are never going to be the same. That's fantastic. That's like, we'll be as nice as we possibly can. I, of course, am podcasting through its secret. Huh, no? <laughs> no. But I am an incredible simulation. He's running a little bit late. But I, of course, am here with our fantastic queen and mistress of the whole shebang, Carla. Carla? <laughs> Damn it. She's always calling you going, where are you? Where are you? You've got to be somewhere. You've got to be somewhere. And now she's late. Where do you go, Carla? <laughs> Carla! I am not late. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am so sorry, but you need to take that back. I am not late. I'm okay. always talking. And thank you, not sorry until I get here. Okay. <laughs> Car Carla is not late. She is completely regular. Give it up for Carla, ladies and gentlemen. Quickly ready for my five. Okay, first of all, the voice, I am not sick. I just happened to talk to about, I don't know, 300 people yesterday. So I have my Saturday voice already on Friday. Not happy about that. So I was dealing with a diva. And some of you may already know what I'm talking about because there is a debt that must be paid and it must be paid now. John, will you do the honors? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes! Say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. Ooh. Well, I don't know if all that's true. You got me and baby, I got you. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. They say our love won't pay the rent before it's earned. Our money's all been spent. I guess that's so. We don't have a lot. At least I'm sure of all the things we've got. Babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I've got flowers in the spring. I got you to wear my ring. And when I'm scared, you kill a clown. And if I get sad, you're always around. Don't let them say your hair is too long. Cause I don't care with you, I can't go wrong. Just put 
your little hand in mine. Oh, there's no Why is it so greasy? <laughs> babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. <laughs> I got you to hold my hand. I got you to understand. I got you to walk with me I got you to talk with me I got you to kiss goodnight I got you to hold me tight I got you, I won't let go I got you to love me so <laughs> I feel like you need a little explanation. No, so, really. yeah. everyone's cool, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who needs context? All right. Um, but yeah, somebody paid a lot of money for that. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Jared, I'm very sorry. Jared. Yeah, can we give him one more hand? <laughs> yeah. I'm really sad that Jason looks better in my clothes than I do. <laughs> so I really thought they were doing sabotage. <laughs> so, I, I, there it is! <laughs> so, um, that is something that we just like throw at our amazing AV guy about what was it like 20 minutes ago? I was like, um, John, come to my room. We, we forgot to talk about this. So, let's give it up for John because I mean, it's amazing that I'm here all the time all weekend. Really lucky to have John. John was introduced. John drives from like I don't know Antarctica every year to be here. I mean it's a long drive. He brings a lot of equipment. But John was introduced to us by our former AC guy. I thought he was here this year. I saw him. I, I've yeah, seen him. Jerry is definitely here. Yeah. Where is Jerry? Jerry's out party because he doesn't have to run this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was gonna say nice things about Jerry. So when he comes in in a few minutes, I'm gonna give him grief just so you know because I feel like he's gonna be here. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna move along. What was next? On our Are right we along. done? Uh, I'm mean, sure. I mean, I mean, everybody ready? We can go. This is fantastic. No, no, no. There, there's certain things. You're at a convention. Those of you that are new, you may or may not know. And those of you that have been here, you should know. But there are certain little rules of etiquette. It's all in the book. You should read the book. The book is fantastic. If you know, pray to it, been down to it, you know, five times. It's fantastic. But just a couple of things in mind. Everyone's here to have a good time. Make sure you're having a good time. When you see other people having a good time, make sure that you're also enjoying their good time. Essentially, what I'm saying is, don't make anybody uncomfortable. Nobody here should be a jerk this weekend. Nobody. <laughs> Okay? And yes, I understand that includes me. And I try really, really hard! Okay? So let's get that settled. When you see people in costumes, by all means, appreciate it. Clap for them if you want to. If you'd like a picture, just ask somebody real quick first. Maybe they'll pull, you know, get a nice crazy pose for you. That and make means. sure that you step to the side and not stay in the middle yes. of the hallway. Keep, yes. keep the hallways open. We need people to move back and forth, and we don't need anything else with the fire marshal again. We don't need that. Yeah, Billy, you know, I'm going to let you come back after that one. <laughs> you know, this is Billy's first opening ceremony, so it he's been seeing. Yeah, normally. I'm out there with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Rich, Rich, Rich was like, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. But when other people can't make it, I, I'm the next best thing. Yeah! yeah. Oh, no, I asked for people. I'm number two because I'm the... No, we're not going <laughs> to say that. Uh, wait, wait. There, no, there's all kinds of fantastic things in the book that we are supposed to talk about. Uh, like for the fact that alcohol, we all enjoy our alcohol, but we're all going to keep our alcohol in our rooms, in our various partying rooms. We're not going to be silly. We're not going to do anything nonsensical like carrying it around out here 
in front of everybody. We're not going to do that, okay? <laughs> Don't be fooled already. Nobody do that. That's just wrong. We're not going to make that happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, and, and, and along that same vein, if you're throwing a room party on five, because five is the party floor, make sure if you are serving alcohol that you have a door checker to check IDs. They must be 21 and up to come in. If I come in your room and I see under 21s near the alcohol, your party gets closed down and you don't want me to close your party down. Because <laughs> oh, she will do it with authority and nobody needs that. Does everyone have their badge? Yes. Woo! Absolutely. Your badge is fantastic. Your badge is important. Your badge says that you belong. The only thing in your life that ever makes you count is this badge. So please have it with you at all times. And let's all remember white badges can be at the 21 parties having. No. Some white, some white badges what? are 18, 19, and 20. When did that happen? The yellow badges are always 18 and under. But we got three colors last year. Well, no, that was day badges. Uh, ah, yeah. but Carla's gonna explain the badges. <laughs> white badges are adult badges. Yellow badges are youth badges. There it is. It's that simple. And that's why you need someone at the door because we've changed the badges this time. So it's always been that way. No, no. It's always, literally, always. I was not on E. No, no. That is not a true thing. That is not a true fact. There's a reason he's not a door checker. Literally, always. There, literally. There, there, there is that. Uh, also, keep in mind. We love that you bring your entire families and stuff with you, but but Mysticon itself does not have child care services. Oh, man. So, Although I have a couple of kids that I'll, like, hire Carla out is, is, is renting out her children to watch your children if need be. Stand it's, up. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> no, that just still gives it away. That still gives it away. Actually, you need to talk to her. we got to make something happen for this evening right there. You talk to her. No, I'm dead serious. Do this now. Do this now. That's how this happens. Billy has it. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to party tonight. Okay? Make sure you check his ID. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Now you show up? Uh, I was saying good things. And not Jerry. Gerald Martin. Do Why? Not, do not sit down. I was saying, know. like, amazingly good things about you. And then I realized you didn't have enough, like, desire to grace us with your presence. You're you're late. It's not graceful. <laughs> I need my bag. And now he's leaving. Okay, <laughs> Jerry, everybody. Oh no, there you go. Okay, okay, all right. Second diva of the day. I know, I know. Ooh, what your song are you doing? <laughs> That's about as much of a jig as you get. <laughs> oh. What? What are you? I'm not, I'm just getting something out of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need the duck? <laughs> no, no. I mean, Jerry, I always liked you. <laughs> so, so no, in all seriousness, Jerry is the one who found John for us. Jerry used to be our AV guy, and he had to take a, a year off. He wasn't here last year, and we're really happy to see him back. So everybody, welcome Jerry back. <laughs> Oh, I missed you guys terribly. It's actually been two years since I got to do really anything with the con. I was sick two years in a row. Was here both times, just not anywhere where I could be seen. But that was because the person who has become kind of my partner in life was taking over a lot of the stuff I was doing, which was fantastic. They love the con scene. They love this con. And they really came into my life at a perfect time. For the first time, I'm almost speechless. So I need to catch my breath before I have a heart attack again. <laughs> so, um, I, they asked that I propose in such a way that everyone knows how much we mean to each other. And what better way than at our home con, introduced by one of our biggest home con people, in front of a panel of wonderful guests. Uh, thank you all for coming. This was all for me. <laughs> and all for Puck. You um, are Jerry's kids today. Yes, yes. Um, thankfully, still here though. Um, unlike the rest. The <laughs> so, uh, Brandon, I have a very important question for you. Stand up. Stand up. I know you're about as triple as I am. Stand up. Okay. So, you asked me to make sure I did this in such a way that everyone knows how much we mean to each other. So we've been together now, it'll be three years in September, and I was wondering if you would take this heart and become part of mine, and marry me. I hope you would have been here, but here we'll point it that way. 
Yeah, I was about to say, I'm still waiting on the answer. Wait, 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 wait. When you asked me to be your player two, <laughs> yeah. and you said you wanted to take it to the next level, yeah. I thought you meant to help you get to level eight in Super Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> no, 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 I already had the warp whistle. I needed the heart. It's more like Zelda. <laughs> so I get the question the question still stands. They're they're wanting to know. It's why. Okay. Will okay. you marry me? I get on my knee, but I can guarantee I would not get back up again. <laughs> so unlike in Mario. For him. Your prince is no longer in another castle. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> years ago, I, uh, I married people at this con. Now I've asked somebody to marry me at this one. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you guys for all of our fun family. You're all invited when we have this. Everybody, thank you guys very, very much. We, couldn't, we wouldn't be here without you. I love that this is becoming a tradition. So I don't know who's going to propose next year, but get yourself ready. You've got to outdo that one. You've got to outdo that one right there. You guys! I swear. Alright, go in now. Yeah, come on, we got things to talk about. Enough of the love. Enough of the love, Now I've got to go back to a panel. Thanks, guys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to show up and do my thing and leave. We at least know about it. Okay. All right. So, um, rules. Did we go over the most? Sure. Ones? Weapons. You know, there's places for them. If you've got one that looks like an actual real gun, someone's gonna tackle you. Be I smart. Get, be no, safe. No. Go get a peace bond and con ops. Yes. Please. Yes. Con ops is along. Go to the right of registration and down that first hallway, and it's two thirds of the way down on the left. Two thirds. Okay. <laughs> Fractions. <laughs> Nobody told me math would be involved. Nobody. <laughs> Oh god, it's so hard to keep you on track. It's so case. hard. Sorry. You're way worse than Rich. I, You're way worse. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's how we do it. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's talk about these people. Let's talk about people. Yeah. Oh, before we talk about those people, let's talk about this Let's person. talk about this person. Every year, if, you know, if you're well aware, Mr. Khan, a lot, of, a lot of conventions do charity auctions. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We do a scholarship auction. We get out there and we change the world. We find up and coming students. We find the best and the brightest. And we bring them here. And we raise money for them she to go further work. their education. She here. What? She had to work. It's working? Yeah. What kind of ethic is that? I know, right? <laughs> We're like, come on, come Okay, on. well, our winner this year is in your program. It's Kira Scheller. Woo! But being more responsible than any of us, she's working. She's working. Will she be at the uh, auction itself? Um, probably not. She's not going to be at the auction yes, either. So we might, you know, get her to FaceTime in or something. But come out and help support an up-and-coming student who's working so flipping hard they can't be here now. Thank you. You've always been very generous in the past. We've shattered records year after year, and we hope to do it again this time, and we can make that happen because I will make you buy stuff because I'm going to be there, and you've got to deal with me. Sorry, that's how but, it is. But, but do not do not ask me to do anything where I have to give Jason any more of my clothes. Please. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about these people. Let's talk about the people behind us. Woo! Woo! Everybody on this fantastic stage right now is here to help make this weekend great for you and to have a damn fine time themselves. So, first off, can we give our a big round of applause for Mr. Sean Hare? Hi, everybody. Our grand guest of honor, please, sir. Uh, sign in. Okay. Tell the world. Yeah. Uh, I got them at Katsukon two weeks ago in the Artist Ooh. Alley. Uh, I, I attend a lot of conventions like you guys. I've been doing it for 30 years. I've also been volunteering and uh, running them. So um, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be among all of you. And Mysticon is a con that punches well above its weight when it comes to like uh, togetherness, feeling of cooperation, feeling of happiness, and uh, community that I don't get in other places. And I blame you, Carla. It's all your fault. <laughs> 
I'll take the blame for that one. Um, and when he's talking about that, um, I, I think he wants a rematch in Pillow Fight Club. You know I do. Because he, he suffered a, a loss, I guess, someone last I don't year. think so. Oh, I do. No, 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 no. She has tape. I have tape, too. Yeah, but and you she, edited it. <laughs> no, I didn't. She sat there and looked like this. Oh, and you I stopped fighting. It. it was you a falling for it. I was being nice and merciful you and honorable. You fell for it. You fell for it. That's a fancy you way of saying I fell for it. it really okay, is. okay. I fell for it. So, there. yes, please come by at midnight so I can rematch her. <laughs> I want all of you to see it. We would tell you where it is, but remember, we don't talk I'm, about it. I'm pretty Bill sure one of these guys is going to have an emergency at midnight I'm going to have to deal with. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, if, if that's the case, I just win by default, right? You can't win something that never happened. Uh, yeah, you can. It's a forfeit. <laughs> All right, enough of you. Fine. Although I do like your um, gorgeous you shirt. This? You guys should buy one of these shirts. They're fantastic. Whoa! Gosh, how much does that shirt set you back? Uh, I think it was seventeen dollars. What? And you can even get older shirts for ten? Yeah. What? Oh my no, god! No, we sold out of older shirts. You, really? Already? They're all gone. They're all gone already. Yeah, we have no older shirts. We have no oh. guest stickers anymore, and no old shirts. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys really love your swag, don't you? <laughs> guys, here's for you. This is for you. This is for you. Oh my god. You're so sweet. But you're here, you're ready to see people, you're ready to get down, and you're also ready to rock, aren't you? Yeah! Of course you are. So who better in the world to have the Type Trauma? Woo! Give up the mic, look at Bobby! And of course, Chris Tucker's here. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Chris Tucker, ladies and gentlemen. Tell the world what you're going to do for them this weekend. Uh, put together a pretty aggressive set for tomorrow night. Uh, you know, a show is going to be amazing when they use a word like aggressive. 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 Yes. So Tearing it up and aggressive. That's yeah. That's not kind of wait, wait. So you're you're like sort of a hip dumpstep? Nice. <laughs> it's just me. Fine. Forget y'all. Forget y'all. Forget y'all. I don't know. Where's our gaming guest of honor? I don't know where our gaming guest of honor is. No, Blade Gaming. Probably either. gaming. Yeah. But okay. somewhere running around, Blade Gaming is here for our gaming guest of honor. Woo! They're somewhere. <laughs> in spirit. They join us in spirit. Are they, are they running games? Are they having games? Do you have any idea? Don't just nod. Tell the people. We're supposed to be selling them on this, Carla. There are so many games. <laughs> so many. They're going to be running There in. are three floors. Four floors. Four floors of games over there. But Blade so you Gaming know Blade does... Gaming is running games, selling games, being games. They are games. Wow. Did you say gaming? They're, they there are games. This is fantastic. Our indie film guest of honor, Mr. Bill Mulligan! <laughs> you only get the microphone when we say you can. We've been here before. I have my yeah, I know, we come reeling at me yesterday. It's such an honor to be here. I've spent the last year wondering when they would realize they made a terrible mistake. Oh, no. so, this... <laughs> Sammy. Wait till tomorrow. These weasels scheduled a roast for me and weren't going to tell me. Someone put it on the schedule, on the which schedule. is what usually happens. Yeah. It's in sked.com, everybody. They put it on the schedule, and then when I said, hey, what's this? They're like, oh, you aren't supposed to know about that. I outsmarted them by looking at the schedule. Reading is knowledge. Why would you look at the schedule? The whole premise of a roast is that I'm supposed to know who's on it so I can prepare material for them. So I had to guess. Now like I, to bring like I guess that Sammy is on it, so I looked up a bunch of your mama has such an ugly face jokes. <laughs> so I'm prepared. But that's about it. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, Mr. Khan has always been one of the most supportive conventions for indie film. Uh, we're not just an afterthought. I mean, and there's a lot of really good young people who have contributed. Please, if you get a chance, go look at the films. The quality is off the charts. It's, it's amazing, just like, just the difference between here and five, ten years ago, what indie films look like and what they look like now. The technology and the creativity is just so much better than what you'll see from Hollywood. Thank you very much for being here. Come to my uh, panels. I promise I will let other people talk this time. <laughs> Thank you.
And I really don't know why he said that we've been, he's been wondering when we're going to realize we made a mistake because Bill is amazing. And no matter what you hear at the Rose tomorrow, remember those words. He is amazing. I mean, I'm sure they're all true. All true. Everything. Cool. Also, please give it up, won't you please, for our artist guest of honor, Miss Jinty Priola! The shirt, the shirt. Show the shirt again. She designed, she designed that. Hi, guys. This is only my second time being a guest. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I'm excited to see everybody, and please feel free to stop by my table, chat with me, just hang out, whatever. I'm up for just about anything. You said that to this crowd. Yeah. 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 This crowd. No, Jen, Jen did show. Oh, oh, come on up here. We already talked about Kimmel. Yeah, I do. You're so all I do. I do want to give a big thank you to Jen because um, she showed up here yesterday morning at 5:15 to do some news segments. Um, her husband Paul also showed up with Wayne from the 501st. They did a new segment. Um, so, like, you know, I was down there at 4:30, and they were there, and they were they were so amazing. And um, I, I thank you for that. It was great. So, as I said, they are gaming. Yes, we are gaming upstairs. We got a lot of board games. We're teaching games. We're going to do a clinic for Magic the Gathering tonight at 7. And tomorrow I'm going to run some longer games with some fast games on the side. So it's a little bit of everything. Come learn some games. And for those of you who are local, and even if you're not, before you head out of town... They have a store in downtown Roanoke, and it is one of the best gaming stores I've ever seen. It's phenomenal. So go take a take a visit and support them. They also have a table in the vendor room. And they have games. I don't know if they're, they're, they're going to be playing some go fish and stuff and whatnot. So there's that. Also on our stage, would you please give it up for a gentleman I know you know because we all have at least 17 of his books. Mr. Larry Niven! starter. <laughs> you mostly have to ask the right questions to get me going. So, since we announced your appearance here, the question I've gotten most frequently was, how the heck did you get Larry in event? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Carla, Carla did a uh, ring world cake <laughs> and sent me pictures of it. And, and, and a, uh, And a di diatribe on, uh, on on how to build ring worlds. <laughs> I've been using uh, as, as background <coughs> for 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 me. Uh, that, that was very nice, Carla. Thank you. So <laughs> what he's saying is, I asked. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not let's not underestimate the power of your cakes and what they can do. Right? Okay. How many people in this room have a collection of pictures of Carla's cakes over the years? Right? I'm right? So sorry. I'm sorry for this year. It's really not that great. I'm sorry. I ran out of time. You, you've seen this year's cake, right? Yeah. Okay, let's move back to Larry. We will. We will. Move on to Larry? Back to her. Back to Larry. Yes, you, you have more things to share with Carla. Uh, yes, but they're private. <laughs> oh, she's helping somebody at midnight. Sorry. Gotcha. Sorry. Gotcha. Gotcha. Larry likes being funny. Does it? Yeah. 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 Hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way. All right. So, and also on our stage, a man who has literally been with all of us for our entire lives and still all the time continues to give us more and more fantastic, amazing things, whether it's in film, whether it's directing, whether it's writing stuff on the side that you may not know about, and we'll talk about it in a little bit. Please put your hands together for our media guest of honor, Mr. Zach Ward! <laughs> Uh, hi everybody, how you doing? 
very excited to be here. This is my first time in Roanoke, Virginia, and uh, Carla called me up last week, and I got the opportunity to fly out and landed uh, last night. I'm a little groggy and tired, so if I seem a little stupid, it's because I am. <laughs>